Okay, we're back with the NBA today. Yesterday we were one and one on our picks. Uh, we uh, lost on Milwaukee, getting the points, and then, wow, I don't know what's going on with them. They got athletes, they're not playing well at all. And then we had the under with the Bulls and the Magic, that hit pretty easily. So we're still over 500 for the year, so can't really complain, but still, we could do better. So let's see what we got today. We got two marquee matchups today. And the first one here I'm gonna be backing is over the total between Oklahoma City and the Houston Rockets. I don't do this lightly. It's a pretty high total. Right now it's at about 214 at most books. And uh, that's a lot of points, but I like for both these teams coming off a of back to back to just go ahead and forget about the defense, get up and down the court and uh, put up a lot of points. I know Houston has got to get that bad taste out of their mouth after they uh, really choked that second half against Miami and Oklahoma City, they're just rolling right along. They're really focusing on getting out in space, making that extra pass. And man, they've been looking great, opening up lanes and they've been really tough so far. And I look for them to be uh, efficient tonight against Houston. Let's go ahead, let's talk about these two teams. Uh, prior to yesterday's game in which Oklahoma City beat Denver and Houston lost to Miami, the statistics I have so far on the year for Oklahoma, they're averaging 125.5 points per game, 46.9% shooting from the field, and 32.6% shooting from beyond the arc. And they've been tough. Westbrook's been great. Durant looks like his old self, so they've been really, really solid. And uh, yesterday they scored 117 points against uh, Denver, so that would put their average down to about, uh, about 122 around there. So they're still scoring a lot of points. A little bit skewed because they had that double overtime against the Magic, but still, they're putting up points. I don't expect Houston to do uh, a very good job at stopping them tonight. I'll just keep that simple. Defensively, Oklahoma City, they're allowing uh, 121 points per game, 46.2% shooting, and 35.4% shooting from beyond the arc. Again, those numbers are a bit skewed because of that game with Orlando in which there were just, you know, oodles of points. But I expect Houston to score against uh, Oklahoma City defense that is more focused on uh, you know, getting out in transition than they are actually getting stops. They're just going to try and outscore teams, it seems like, and then lock down and get stops when they need to. At least that's how it seems so far. Houston on the year, they have not been good. Offensively, they're averaging 88.5 points per game, 35.5% shooting from the field, and 22.4% shooting from beyond the arc. Yikes. You know, I don't know Dwight Howard's status right now. I just know they're playing ter terrible right now. They had a really good first half against Miami, and then they scored 26 points in the second half for 89 points total. So they are not playing offensively as efficient as they should. I think tonight, though, they're going to get a really good opportunity to do that against an Oklahoma City team that's going to want to get out and go ahead and run. I think Houston's going to run right with them to uh, get us this over. Look for a lot of points. Defensively, Houston also has not been good on that end. They're allowing 108.5 points per game, 48.3% shooting from the field, and 41.5% shooting from beyond the arc. And those are some of the worst in the league. And they have not started well in the season. They haven't done it on the defensive end. They haven't done it on the offensive end. And they just got destroyed that second half by Miami. So they better be ready to put up some points tonight if they're going to hang in with Oklahoma City. I think they do. I think they're going to play their best game of the year. They should uh you know, they probably had a team meeting after that loss to Miami. They better get it together real quick or they're going to be out of that Western Conference hunt because there's a lot of good teams in that race. So, I mean, oh, it's this early in the season. We just hit November, but seriously, they really need to start to get going because there's a lot of good teams in the West. Should be a fun one to watch. I'm looking for an up and down affair. A lot of pace over the total here at 214. That's one of my uh, total picks for the day in the NBA. And I wish you luck on your plays of the day.